What is going on, you guys? It's your boy Artie, Executive Director of Film It's Art, and today we are taking a look at Michael Pratt, quarterback from the University of Tulane. Our first Senior Bowl film session is here, you guys, getting you guys prepared for um, some of the prospects you're going to see at the Senior Bowl this week and some of the prospect prospects that we think have a chance to be potential contributors at the next level. When you look at Michael Pratt, right, um, you love the size at 6'3", 220, um, 22 years of age, um, outstanding, outstanding touch on throws, um, when he sees it with anticipation, right? Love, love that about him. I think, I think Michael Pratt is a receiver that's not talked about much among the quarterbacks in this class due to the fact of, you know, obviously it being very top heavy, um, but Michael Pratt in his own right has his own unique amount of skills that could have him, as the title of the video says, the particularly next Brock Purdy. A team could take a chance on him later in the draft and maybe have him sit a year or two, and then, you know, maybe he challenges the starter for the job and beats him out. I genuinely think Michael Pratt has that type of ability. Focusing back on the tape here, you, one thing you notice about Michael Pratt is when he sees it, he fires the ball out, and it's quick, and it's a concise release. Love that about him. You know, pocket mechanics, normal time for almost, and normally, normally it's pretty good. Now, he does have limitations with his arm. So you're not just going to have Michael Pratt just throw the ball all over the yard, all different places on the field, because his arm won't let him get it there. But what he does do, as I've said already, is throw with anticipation. So those anticipation throws going to mean everything to him at the next level. Michael Pratt um, start, started at Tulane the past two years. Um, there was a significant drop-off in the tape from 2022 to 2023. Um, lost some NFL talent and Ty J. Spears um, and other players as well on the offensive line. So um, definitely, definitely um, 2022 is better than 2023. But um, look at the start here. Um, you see the ball is caught, but you see how the defender has to, um, you know, reach back for it. You know, good throw, and obviously he scores a touchdown. But, you know, uh, that ball placement is something that he's definitely going to have to work on at the next level, that accuracy, because, um, you know, that can, that, can, that can lead to, you know, drop passes and picks in the league. So definitely need to clean that up. Nevertheless, still, you know, a completed pass. Um, l love, the, love the fact that, you know, Again, he throws with anticipation. Those anticipation throws, those are the throws that you have to make at the next level. Really, really good job here with that pump fake opening up the um, stuttering goal for the receiver there. You notice when Michael Pratt throws the football, you know he's throwing it um, with anticipation when his feet and his um, and his uh, shoulders are squared up. See right there, he... He was locked in there right there. He knew where he was going with the football, and he made a very accurate throw. But this right here is a dot. You know, he had to get that over the top of the underneath guy right there in between the two defensive backs. Unfortunately, caused an injury, but just a f real good show of his um, velocity when he can um, line it up. Again, here, rolling out. Nice throw over the... Let's throw over the middle there, a little bit outside the numbers. I like Michael Pratt on the move. Michael Pratt, honestly, you guys, is not a bad athlete. Michael Pratt is not a bad athlete. Coming into this tape, I thought, you know, Michael Pratt was going to be not a pocket passer, but he was going to be, you know, a standard, you know, athlete, like above not average athlete. Michael Pratt's a pretty good athlete, you guys. I mean, he can move. Look at him square those shoulders up on that throw to the outside. Good job there. Really excellent job. Textbook, textbook, you know, you want to turn your shoulder when you're rolling, when you're rolling out, you want to turn your shoulders to where you're throwing to, so it just makes it easier on half your body. I split the difference, as I say. Good job there. Also, Michael Pratt, he made a lot of adjustments, um, a lot more adjustments, I should say, um, to plays at the line of scrimmage than I thought he would. So I really like that he showed, you know, that IQ. But yeah, it's athleticism. I must talk about it, right? So for Michael Pratt, you know, this is a 
a quarterback who Tulane, you know, obviously, you know, he scrambled and picked up first downs like here. But Michael Pratt um, actually got RPOs called for him, like like zone reads called for him to run the ball. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Tulane really had faith in him as a runner. And honestly, at Senior Bowl, we during the game specifically, I wonder if, you know, Michael Pratt's going to use that opportunity to, you know, show his true running ability. Like you're going to see here, motion over, fake, fake with the motion guy. And then that's just a, just essentially a quarterback dive, man. Quarterback dive, right? Following that tackle right there. So, yeah, Michael Pratt is the athlete. Do not sleep on him at all. Do not sleep on him at all. Get into some of the things that I, you know, I've already mentioned, but I'll continue to talk about things that, you know, Michael Pratt needs to work on. You know, the arm, the arm is definitely limited, right? So, you know how it is when you have a quarterback with a limited arm. You're going to need that quarterback to be able to make the safe throws, the 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 um, correct throws at all times, or else you get yourself in trouble. Um, I also think Michael Pratt needs to really, really work on, you know, finding, finding a way to throw the ball away. You know, stop taking sacks, you know, um, stop throwing throwing unnecessary picks. You know, just be more careful with the football. And, and it's not to say that he's turnover prone, but it, it's more to say, um, you know, there are just times where Michael Michael Pratt, you know, he just um, he he just doesn't know when to let it go, let the play let the play die. You get what I'm saying? He just doesn't know when to let the play die sometimes. So. Um, yeah, those are some things that I would love for Michael Pratt to work on. As you guys are seeing, like Michael Pratt, you know, he he actually <laughs> he actually gets these design runs called for him. He gets busy with them. You know what I'm saying? Right here, you have Tajay Spears in the backfield. Most of them down. All right, zone ring, starts to pull. Got the got the tight end, tight end helping block, and he does his thing. And then you see the, you know, the acceleration ability to hit, get into open field right here. So, yeah, Michael Price, an athlete, you know, definitely not nothing to sneeze at. I tell you what, Michael Price faster than Brock Purdy. <laughs> I tell you guys that right now. I'm very interested to see what he runs in his forty. Now. Let's get into, um, you know, those touch slash ball placement concerns, right? So you're going to see same throws earlier, but look, dirts it, right? And, you know, obviously, you know, the passing mechanics are important, but I think sometimes with Michael Pratt's arm just, it just, it, there's just some limitations, you know, it just won't let him get there sometimes. Like you see here, turn the shoulders, but then he second guesses himself, right? So when you second guess yourself, you know, sometimes that throws off your timing. Also here, you know, he also has a tendency to really have a lower trajectory point when he's throwing the ball, which, you know, can really cause problems at the next level because, you know, these defensive tackles, if they can get home to you. They're going to be smacking their hands up for that football. So that's very important to make sure that you, you know, take care of that. Um, and work on that at the next level. Here, you know, play action fake. And just dirt it to the receiver. So, there you go. You see how, you know, from down, not down to down, but, you know, the arm isn't, the arm does have limitations. You know, he's going to, you know, have some plays where his arm and his ball placement are not good. Then he's going to have some plays if we get to the intermediate deep passing game. Some plays where you see, you know, when he sees it, you know, he, he can get the ball there. See, the reason that ball was completed was he threw it early. If he if he waits another second and throws it, that DB has a chance to undercut it. You know, but he, but he as you're going to see from cartel angle, once he hits that about that third step of that rollout, you know, he's cutting that thing loose. Man. He's not wasting any time. He's not wasting any time because he knows. You know, he knows that he has to get that ball out due to, you know, the lack of arm strength. And, you know, he does. And, and that's what makes him good, man. That's what makes him good. 
Now, one more last negative play here. Um, got Michael Pratt uh, on a trick play here against USC. And that's just an example, you know. Yo, throw the ball away, man. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I was talking about earlier. Hey, live the fight another down. Yeah, no, it's a two-point conversion, but just just throw the ball away. The sc- sideline was really screaming at him. You know, throw the ball away, right? Just throw the ball away, bro. That's 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 literally it. Just throw the ball away. No need for this. Um, no need to you know make a make a disaster worse. Teach tape on what to not do as a quarterback in that situation. Back to uh, the throws, intermediate throws. Another, you're going to see another rifle here to the receiver down bottom. Um, yeah, Michael Pratt, man. I, I think, I think honestly, overall, I think Michael Pratt, when it comes to, you know, what he can do year one, you know, if you ask him to be your starter year one, I mean, you're kind of bugging unless he, like, has, you know, just an outstanding offseason, you know, outstanding training camp and preseason. But, like I said, you know, with the way this league is and the way you can develop quarterbacks. We've seen it with Jordan Love, right? Jordan Love sat for three years. And then Aaron Rodgers left. And now Jordan Love is probably going to be in some people's top 10 quarterback rankings this year. So, you know, it can be done. You can take a chance on, you know, a guy who you, who you believe in and make him your starter. But, you know, Michael Pratt could also be just a career backup. And um, you know, get in and and and, and relieve some duty. I, mean, I genuinely think he has you know low end starter potential at the next level. He has some things that he has to work on. Got to work on that ball placement. Got to work on you know, <coughs> excuse me, on when to throw the ball away. But I think overall, you know, Pratt, you know, with his traits and his tool set that he has, I think that he could. You know, be a be a be a starter in this league one day. And for the senior ball, what I would like to see from Michael Pratt is just him continue to you know be himself, right? You have you're gonna have quarterbacks throwing ahead of you like you know Michael Penix and Sam Hartman and Paul Nix and Spencer Rattler. So you just be you. Find a way to stand out. You know, make sure every throw you throw is accurate. And make sure every throw you make. You know, your best throw. Don't try to out-throw anybody. You know, just do your best. And uh, let's just follow, follow where they may. In interviews, you know, make sure you're, you know, very attentive, assertive. Um, Make sure that, you know, whenever they ask you to draw a play, you know, you give your best play. You know, make sure you break it down to where you, they can see your IQ and everything. And you should be good. The Senior Bowl uh, game will be Saturday. In this video... As a recording is Sunday, so about a week before you guys can see Michael Pratt play live. Um, but yeah, um, last couple of plays here. Key note: This was probably a game. This was a game winning touchdown versus USC. Um, man, this 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 is a really nice play here. So he holds the ball on purpose to hold the safety because he knows you know the safety's you know on the roof single high. So what he does is he holds the safety by, um, you know, just, I guess, not pump faking, but trying to look him off to open up that throwing lane to his receiver. Because once he gets it to the receiver, he knows there's nobody back there. You see that little, ah, look at him hold the safety. And he's out of there. He's gone. And the last play here, just a little throw outside the numbers. Ends up going for six. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. It's going to wrap it up for the tape. Again, Michael Pratt, quarterback from Tulane. Um, make sure you guys check him out at the 2024 Reese's Senior Bowl. Here's a scouting report. You can read this at your own leisure. Also, here are some of his career stats. And his team fits. Teams that I could see him potentially getting drafted to at the next level. Yeah, man, that's going to do it for you guys today. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel.